let the uh, let the fun begin. All right, it's been a full week. Now we've got all our stumps in, in this new area, living in kitchen. So tomorrow we'll be back, rest of the bearers. We'll do all the joists and then chipboard on top of the joists. Plasters off. And that's the update. Nothing's really happened outside other than a delivery of trusses. And that's that. So as soon as the floor's done, roof will come off, trusses will go in. Roof sheeting will go back on and then we can start thinking about all the other rooms and plastering and all that. We've demolished the mantle and the block work around that. So that's ready to be refurbished. Uh, and yeah, cleaned up a little bit outside. So we've got a scaffold there now, ready for the roof to happen. And that is pretty much it.
I was yours for the taking Guess I needed a home But if I'm not mistaken You were good on your own oh, And I know, and I know I was drunk enough Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah Now I'm truly awakened, oh Say you wanna talk again But it's time I do this my way study nook which is a bit more obvious uh, it's a bit hard to tell when you're just looking at framing but plaster makes all the difference and we've got a cupboard here nothing too exciting about that this is on the living area side so we've just got that bulkhead not quite finished yet but that's where we had that beam to hold the roof up it's all nice and hidden now uh, instead of just looking at a plastered beam we've just got a nice bulkhead here that ties in with the study nook now the bricklayer has made a start on this. We're not too sure how we're going to finish it, but 
we'll sort that out later. At least the foundations are there for now. focusing some attention on the roof. We're gonna batten that out so we can get ready for some lining boards. Uh, plasters are slamming through. We got doors to put in and all kinds of things. We might even do some work outside. For a quick update, this room actually got replastered. So it's looking way better than it used to. We head downstairs. Now we got some plaster on these old brick walls. It's starting to look really good. Got a massive pile of lining boards here. Uh, and we've made a start. The hardest part is the top. So that's all done. We should be able to slam them in soon. We've got painters coming next week, so we're trying to beat them. Uh, and today I was focusing on getting this mantle in. This bathroom here is starting to shape up. Uh, those bits of plaster are on only because we had to get the screeds done. So that's getting close to tiles. All the screeds have been done in all the other rooms. All right, it's getting to the pointy end now of this whole job. Uh, it's still a bit of a mess, as you can tell, but we've got painters starting next week and then floors going in the week after that. So it's gonna be a big rush to get things done. The fascia, we only started because there was some good weather and we didn't have lining boards to start the ceiling. So once they arrived and then the weather changed anyway, so we came back inside and got stuck into that. Bluestone got delivered, that means the fireplace can get started as well. Uh, we've put the fascia on hold for the minute and we're focusing on getting ahead of the painters. Uh, we are ahead of the tilers now, all the waterproofing is finished, so the tilers are going to come in. Uh, we're ahead of them and yeah, we're trying to stay ahead of painters, so it's looking like we'll be tackling doors because that's stopping us from doing architraves on door jams and that's stopping us from finishing the skirting in certain places because you need the skirting to butt into the architrave. So uh, yeah, we're looking at doors so we can finish off all the arcs and skirts, but we're definitely doing the architraves and skirting boards where we can, just on windows and in the rooms that are getting carpeted. <laughs>
getting to the pointy end of things. Now, first things I want to run over is last week we got a head start uh, on the flooring and the painting. Now everyone's kind of chasing each other. I'm chasing the floor bloke with skirting. So wherever he's finished putting his floors down, I'll slam my skirting on. The painters are chasing me, painting skirting and arcs where they can. Uh, and painting windows and things like that. The windows are getting painted black, which looks really nice. I think it's gonna uh, tie in with everything really well. Now we haven't had a trades here because we didn't want to get in the way of the bloke laying floors, but he's wrapping up. Uh, and so we're gonna have tilers and electricians this week. So hopefully the bathrooms get close to finished. Uh, they made a start on those last week. And hopefully we get lights. So down lights and things, we don't have to use that temporary light that's behind me. Uh, and we're thinking about doing some decks and things outside because we've got some air conditioning units that we want to put on top of the deck. Uh, and so in order for those to go in, we need to finish the decking. So that's around the side of the house. I've already made a head start ripping up pavers and jackhammering away a concrete ramp. Now I am doing skirting here. I have been over skirting properly previously in another video on my channel. So. If you want to learn how to install skirting and how to do scribes and things like that, how to cut them, uh, I go over it in detail in another, in another video uh, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. wrap up another week we finished all the skirting in this room and architraves and window winders so we're out of there uh, we're looking at installing doors we've got a couple in already namely this one uh, we still have this one to go tilers are almost done we've got our feature walls done all the skirting in this hallway is finished now we've still got a door to go at the top but that's for next week this living area is looking pretty good we've got some black paint on these windows still waiting for stonework at the end there but we've finished our skirting in here as well. Uh, we slapped on the linen cupboard door. Got our switchboard and some shelves in there. All the skirting in here is finished and in this hallway. Yet another bathroom looking pretty good. The ensuite is looking pretty good. I don't want to walk in there, they're just done with the grouting, so it's all looking pretty nice. The shower bloke has come and measured up, so shower screens will go in soon. Now this deck here isn't quite finished, but we're far enough ahead. Uh, we don't have to worry about the fridges needing us to finish this. Our main priority is getting ahead of the painters inside. As you can see, we've got some new residents who have just moved in over the weekend. All right, good morning, everyone. We hit a bit of a milestone yesterday. We have lights. since we did a tour and the next video you see the house is going to be finished so we'll just run through it see how it is now see what I've missed out on filming and just show you everything that's been done to get you up to date so painters have been busy I've been busy cabinet makers have started to move in uh, I've finished all the doorways and handles and things like that uh, they've only been dismantled for painting now this bathroom's looking pretty good tiles done Glass has gone in today. Some of the fixtures for the plumbing have gone in, in the laundry, paint and doors and handles and everything. Cabinet makers only started today, so that's why things are a bit of a mess, but they are getting the kitchen happening. Looking pretty good with some paint on the walls as well. 
This area here is a big cabinet, so you'll never see any of that mess. Now the main living area is looking really good. The stonework got finished. Uh, we've got a couple of blocks on the ceiling to mount the fans, uh, but we had to shape them up a bit to match the rake in the ceiling. The mantle's all done and dusted, sanded and varnished. Looks really good. I know it's a bit of a tease that all this crap's in front of it, but you just have to come back next week when we do the final tour with the house finished. Now these French doors have been installed as well. They were originally a part of the house, so it's good to see them reused. Nothing's happened in the walkroom wardrobe except for paint. Uh, this ensuite's coming along as well. All the tiling's done, the glass is happening. This is that wall we built earlier that's gonna act as our shelf. Kinda makes a bit more sense now that it's finished. Stairs are done, handrails done. This doorway is also finished. Uh, this window's been repaired. No more rotten timber there. Another one of those fan blocks. This one was also pretty tricky. Because uh, the rake in this ceiling is much steeper. But anyway, we've got that done. Just the little things that have been happening that is pretty hard to film. Uh, especially when I'm all over the shop and I can't finish something. Or especially from start to finish, it's not worth filming. This room's looking really good too. Now we'll go down the hallway and have a look at what's been happening down here. Uh, our cupboard's finished. Obviously the door's not on it, but we had to make that for the switchboard to be installed and for the lights to get powered up. We're starting to paint in this room. This bathroom's looking pretty good. All the tiles are on. Glass, toilet, same old scenario. This room has seen a bit of paint as well. So it's all shaping up nicely in here. And we'll go have a look outside. All right, so all our eaves are finished. All the trim is on. That's been a, that's been a bit of a slow burn, this one. Just kind of getting fascia on when we have a chance and then something else takes priority and then we come back to it later. So good to see that finished. Now we've got a massive fence going in here to uh, keep the dog in. So this whole area here along the driveway, all the way up past there, and then it, it all will turn back in. So less and less mess as we go. Good to see these windows painted on the outside. They look a heap better. Obviously they're still not finished. Now we built this deck around here so that the air conditioning could get fitted off uh, because the units had to be at deck height. So there we go. Here's a lesson. Don't cut metal on top of a deck. It'll bloody ruin it and leave all these marks on it. So I'm sure we can fix that up, but a bit of a shame that it happened. So this is the deck between the shed and the laundry. We've built this screen here. Looks better from the other side. We've got the gate on. So that's all looking really neat. Very happy with that.
Thank you. 